So good evening, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to uh, Channeling Korea. Today or this evening is September the 20th, 2020. So there's a lot of twos and zeros in there. It's, um, <laughs> it's great. All these repeating numbers. So just want to give everybody a um, short description of how this evening is going to go. I'll be after this this short um, message. I'll be leading everyone into a brief meditation, just so that everyone can get present, including myself. And uh, when I start to feel the energies of Korea being being ready, or uh, when I'm ready to receive, then the channeling begins. And um, no idea what's going to come through, or how long that's going to be. And uh, after the channeling, then we'll have a kind of Q&A uh, session um, or just uh, opportunity for anybody who wants to share what they got or any comments, it, all, all those are welcome as well. So let's begin. So it's a beautiful evening. And... I just want to invite everybody to simply start to tune in, to turn in and tune inwards. And start to just follow your own breath. Follow the easy rhythm of your own breathing. And at first, no need to try to do anything, just Take in, just follow your own rhythm. Take in a few easy and effortless breathing in and breathing out. And kind of allow yourself to smooth out, smooth out your breathing. As sometimes, um, even on a Sunday or especially on a Sunday, life can get a little hectic. So let's just follow our own breathing and start to smooth it out. And with our breathing being more regular and smoothed out, we can also start to relax. Our mind relax our body as well. And with each time that we breathe in and breathe out, allow yourself to let go of thoughts and let go of any tension in your body. Just let go. No need to know why this thought comes about. No need to be tight, be uptight, or anything. It's Sunday evening, so just simply let go. And now that your breathing is more smooth, start to take in deeper breaths and to breathe out, to take a longer time to breathe out. So start to slow down your breath. Allow yourself to really take your time to breathe in and inflate your body, your lungs fully before you try to breathe out. And also start to shift your focus from being focused in your mind and your head area. Start to focus on your heart. Be in your heart. You can do that by imagining that you can actually breathe in and out through your heart. Just imagine that you can take in all the oxygen and all the wonderful energy 
that the universe is giving us by breathing in through your heart. And anything that does not support you to be here right now, just let it go as you breathe out. And also start to feel. And if you can't feel this right now, just imagine how it feels like if you love yourself unconditionally, absolutely unconditionally, Feel what that feels like in your body. When you're in your heart, hold unconditional love for yourself. It does not matter what you have done or have not done. It does not matter who you think you are or who you think you are not. There is no condition under which you do not love yourself. Simply feel this love for yourself. Have compassion, complete surrender to loving yourself unconditionally. And as you feel this unconditional love for yourself, also feel unconditional love all around you. All the people that you know and all the people that you don't know, feel love for them. You don't have to agree with them. You may not resonate with who they represent. However, recognize that they too are an aspect of eternal essence, just like you. So love them, feel love for them, unconditional love. And as you feel this unconditional love for yourself and for everyone else outside of yourself, Send love, send love to Mother Earth. Send love to this beautiful planet that we are all playing on. Connect with the unconditional love that is the consciousness of Mother Earth. And feel Mother Earth returning your love a million times over. And now also send love to Father Sky, to the sun, to the star of our solar system. Feel unconditional love for the sun. Even though it is so far away from us and so different from us, feel love and send love to Father Sky and feel Father Sky returning your love a million times over. And feel this love all around you. And feel this connection, like a connection through love connection through unconditional love. And in this unconditional love, be in this oneness and let go of the separation between you and your environment and the world outside of you because in truth, there is nothing outside of you. The world is within you. Your body is within you. All that is, is within you. And 
because you are consciousness. You are all that is. You are the consciousness that is witnessing the creation that is created through your consciousness. Connect to that part of you that is bigger, that is more than your body. Because even though you have a body, you are not your body. It is a message that we have given you many times over that you are not your body. You are so much more than that. As magnificent as this body is, you are far beyond this. in the times ahead because there's so much supportive energy being passed and transmitted and streamed and for lack of a better word being thrown at you but all of this is in support of you we want to make sure that you remember who you truly are. We know that this body is your way of experiencing this reality that you have created. And we want you to remember that you actually have created all of this, all of this reality. We want to remind you that it is not just something that we say to you. It's not something that the Ascended Master say to you or have said to you. It is the truth because the Ascended Master, when they woke up, woke up to the fact that they are all that is, they actually ascended the ascended is not, does not refer to ascending, being out of this reality. Ascending simply means that you can now move in and out of the reality because you know that you have created this reality and you have also created other realities as well. They are only separated by the frequency of the realities. And when you realize that you are the creator of this reality and so many more, then you become outside of this particular reality and you can move to whichever reality that you wish to move to. And that is what ascension is about. Ascension is simply to be able to rise above the reality that you have created. And know that if you can create this reality, 
you can also create other realities. And you're no longer locked into one particular reality and the ability to be able to flip and go and traverse to different realities and come back to this if and when you wish to and then be able to shift to a different reality if and when you wish to that is what ascension is about it's about being fluid when you can hold all the thoughts that is necessary in order to create this reality. You can experience this reality. And when you can actually let go of those thoughts that have created this reality and start to embrace other thoughts that create other realities, and then realities become malleable. You can flow, flow like water from one reality to another reality and then back again without changing who you truly are. And to do that is just by being in this reality. When you're in this reality, pay attention. What are the thoughts that holds me in this reality? when you can objectively just look at all the different angles and start to pay attention to what your thought process is that is helping you to create this reality. And then you can play. Try to swap out new thinking. When you swap out the old thinking and put in new thinking, just watch, just witness how your reality start to shift. And if you like the way it has shifted, then bring in more new thinking that is along the line of that, that is creating that newer reality that you resonate with even more. Start by just experimenting a little bit Kind of just like dipping your toes into a cold pool of water. You condition your body to this different temperature. But at some point when you have conditioned yourself enough, then you're ready to change all the thoughts that is holding the old thinking, the old reality or the old paradigm in place and just be able to swap over to a completely new paradigm. That it all begins with 
playing with experimenting with not being too particular about this reality being real because what is real what is real now may not be real in a month's time or maybe even less time so don't think of reality as being something that is cast in stone that does not budge because everything can be transformed we want to bring this out because it is time to transform it's time to take the steps or maybe even just take one step and see how you like it and then the next step until when you look back you can see the trail that has taken you off the road that you once used to think that is the tr truth it's reality but when you allow reality to be fluid, you can actually change a lot of what it is that you believe is real right now. Reality respond or responds to who you are reality responds to your level of consciousness the more you can be conscious that you are creating reality as you shift the more you can shift and the easier shifting becomes until you can fully play just like a chameleon it takes on the color of the background that it's reciting and when the chameleon starts to jump from the brown tree trunk jump into the onto a field of grass a new reality it will start to take on the color of this new environment it may start with just a small patch it may start with just taking on a little bit of the change of color the browns starting to become slightly greener and then the more it is the more the ch chameleon allows itself to change with the background the more it becomes one and the same color as its background so now the background your background mother earth has changed it has actually changed quite a bit and while the human collective has not moved too much yet and that's why all these energies are coming in to assist and facilitate the human collective to start to shift 
more closer to what Mother Earth wants us to be. So in essence, the reality has already changed. The playground has changed. Mother Earth has changed. It's just that we, or at least some of us, are not ready to tune into the new reality yet. The old reality is still so fascinating to some of us, even though at some, on some level, it is also, we feel that it is this old paradigm has run its course. It is getting to be a little crazy to keep things the way the same while the whole ground itself is completely changed. That's why we see things shifting. People are doing really a lot of work in order to keep the old picture in their face. But you don't have to look too far. You don't even have to look too hard. And you would start to see the new background coming out, seeping out. And all you really have to do is to let go of only seeing the old colors, the old reality, and start to look for and expect to see the new reality. But while you're doing this, while you are beginning to refocus so that you can allow more and more of the new Mother Earth, the new reality to seep through, to start to become more and more apparent we would like to remind you to stay in your heart. Have compassion for where you're at. Have even more compassion for where other people are at. Because some people simply needs to take more time some people have more at stake, so they don't want to let go. And that's okay. They are a source as well. And they have the ability to choose for themselves. whatever they choose, however they choose, and whenever they choose to tune into the new paradigm. Just know that they are also a part of source and feel the compassion for them. and feel the compassion for yourself as you go through all these changes, as you make the efforts to tune in to the new reality.
the new paradigm to really allow new thoughts, new habits, new way of creating, new way of relating to other people, to yourself, to your family members, to Mother Earth, to all the systems that you will be creating, the new systems that is going to make life much easier and much simpler. Those things will start to form. Those ideas will start to formulate. You will have a desire to change something, to change something about the old system. And right now you don't know you really have no idea what the new systems look like. All you know is that the old is not serving. Somehow it is not resonating. Give yourself the freedom to not know what the new reality and the new paradigm is going to look like yet. because you are actually creating it bit by bit. Not you on your own, but you as the whole human collective. Collectively, you are all taking part in this responsibility. To tune in to the new to start seeing the new reality. First, it's just by wanting to see it. By feeling it within your heart. What is the best way? What is the way that is going to support everyone? Not just one or two, but everyone. And then you start to allow the new system that is good for everyone to become more and more apparent as you all come together, as you all contribute your own thinking your own needs. What is it that you need for this new system to do for you? And the new system also has this fluidity as well. Gone are the days of rigid systems new system has to be fluid, has to be able to pivot. As we change the new system, we need to change with us. And that is one of the prerequisites of the new system is fluidity. We have come out of rigidity. We have come out of wanting to preserve everything that is old. The new systems needs to be able to grow with us because the old reality was there to make sure that we grow very little. 
and you system is here to support us to grow as much as we wish to, as fast as we wish to. That is why the new systems, if we can even call them a system, has to be really flexible, being able to support us to grow and be able to transform as we transform. Flexibility has to be part of the system, part of the most important part of the system. And it's not simple, it's not easy to think of this new system. If you rely, then what you know about the old, so don't try, don't try to build new systems from old thinking. Completely let go of thinking and go into your heart. And rely on perceiving rely on downloading download an idea first allow your heart to reach out and be able to tap into the higher level ideas and download it into your thinking. And once you have downloaded the idea, the concept, then you can use the thinking. Use your thinking to find out what is the most efficient way of implementing this What is the best way of implementing this so that it becomes easy for everyone to take advantage? If we can become even more tapped in and rely on our creativity, rely on our brain's innate ability to download solutions. Download solutions from the new reality because Gaia, Mother Earth, is facilitating us and the sun, father sky the universe that has so much variety so many levels of different thinking they are available to us if we can simply allow those new ideas to be downloaded into our mind. And then 
adapted to how we can implement it in this moment. And then as more and more new technology and new knowledge becomes available to more of us, then we can start to shift the way we implement all of these. Sounds very technical, but it's not. It is very simple. You simply be in your heart and download the answer. Use your heart to go and search. to search for the frequencies, to search for the thought forms, to magnetize the answers. I know this is completely different from the old way of thinking that I have to study this, I have to do test, I have to do experiment. Yes, you have to. But download the idea first. Download the answer first. And then you can do all the tests, do all the experiments to verify and see what's the best way to test this out. What's the best way to implement it? What's the best way to adapt it to the people that is on earth right now? Being in your heart is, is so simple and yet it is also the most difficult because a lot of us have a lot of resistance within our heart. There are so many areas within our heart with memories that we don't want to visit because we have been taught that they are unpleasant. We judge that they are better not shared, better not looked at. It is time. It is time to look at those things that is preventing you from being in your heart. That is preventing you from loving yourself unconditionally. It's time to look at all those thoughts that have you judging other people, that have you still playing in the separation game. We have played the separation game for many years now, for thousands of years. It is time to play a different game that is not about separation. That is about recognizing that we are all source. All 
or different aspects of source. And that even the most asleep, the most out of alignment with source, a person maybe they are still a part of source, an aspect of source. So feel in your heart. Allow yourself to let go of those buffer songs or walls, heart or walls, walls around your heart that is keeping you from feeling the connection that you have with everyone else and everything else. Tune into your heart right now. And feel that. Feel the unconditional love. Feel that recognition that we are all one. That you and your environment are one as well. Do not see yourself as being separate. Even though your body may be separate from your environment, but you are not. You are all of that. You are your body. You are your environment. You also are all the other people. You also are all the other animals. You also are all the other brothers and sisters that is living outside of Earth. Tune into this oneness. Shift your focus away from your body. Not forever, but just for this moment. Don't think of your body. Think of yourself as consciousness. Think of yourself as consciousness being experienced through a body and that you can shift your consciousness away from your body and start to feel what it feels like to be the chair that you're sitting on. to be the ground that you are standing on. To be the tree that you're looking at.
and to be the earth that you're on. You are consciousness. Allow yourself for this moment to shift. Away from your body. And to just play, play with feeling what it feels like. To be someone else. Play with being something else. Just imagine, just imagine that you are this body, that you are also everything that is outside of this body. And you can shift your senses to wherever it is that you feel like shifting to. And then shift back into your body and feel what it feels like to come back to your body It may be familiar, more familiar. Or it may feel somewhat different now that you know that you can shift back and forth. We wish you to play more with this to assist you in trying to break down the wall that you are this body because you are more than this, so much more. And when you have experience that you are so much more, then you truly know that you can do so much more as well. And then you can actually start to connect with your environment. Be one with your environment and be able to experience your environment supporting your every thought and wish because you are your environment. You are your body as well. And you are this flexibility that you can shift. All around as you will. We hope that this has been a pleasant experience for you. And if you don't seem to be able to do this at first, then no worries. It will come with practice. And it is time to practice 
to practice to be all that is. Because you are all that is. We love you and we want you to know that you are so much more and you are us as well and we are you as well. What separates us is simply consciousness. And when you start to tap into the consciousness of all that is, then you will start to remember that we are one. you and us. Are all simply part of one. Thank you for joining us this evening. We love you so much. you are us. And we love you unconditionally as we love ourselves unconditionally. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>